Joe, it's time for your favorite part of the show, some questions from the fans. So we'll start off from Twitter. What's your favorite Chicago pizza place? Do you prefer Chicago or New York style pizza? Wow, that's, that's a great question. Um, I love Malnati's. Um, I actually get them sent to my house. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they, they send them in a freeze-dried package, and I get them sent to my house. So, you know what? I love all pizza. <laughs> I mean, that's if I had a weakness, it would be pizza. And you're a big fitness buff. Yes. You like to eat healthy, so I can't imagine that is that's my great weakness. for the diet. <laughs> uh, well, it's not, but it sure tastes good. Now, better at the restaurant, I'm assuming? Than oh, the yeah, I, I think it's always a little better at the restaurant when it comes fresh out of the oven, but we make it work at home. <laughs> Um, what keeps you so lean year-round? This coming off the pizza question, yeah. it always seems like you're about 8% body fat or less. His cheek muscles have muscles. That's coming from Tommy Dubs via Twitter. You know, I think I was blessed with great genetics, um, and I work at work at, working out is kind of my hobby. And when you have to chase a 7-year-old around, you stay <laughs> in pretty good shape. Could you ever imagine not working out? No, I couldn't. Um, it's, it's just been a huge part of my life. And it's kind of my, it's my release. I, I, I don't do a lot of things. I'm not a golfer. I'm not a fisherman. I'm, I'm not a hunter. Um, I like to work out. When will you start grooming Batances for the closer role? His presence slash intimidation is reminiscent of the goose. Um, you know, we're a little ways away from that. We have a very good closer in David Robertson. And, um, but the, the great thing about Dellen Batanzas is, is he's getting put in tougher situations. And, um, and that is good for him. And I think that's grooming you know, moving back farther and further in the bullpen as time goes on. And the situations that we've asked him to come in and get big strikeouts, that's great um, preparation for the future. Swung on wow. a miss, 98 miles an hour. Still a relatively young guy. Yes. When he hears that from people, could you be a closer? Do you think you'll be the next closer? What do you think that does to a guy? It probably gives him a lot of confidence. Um, and you'd love to, you know, to, to see him continue to grow in that confidence and just, I'm going to do my job. All right, let's talk streaks here. What's more impressive, Tanaka's win streak or DiMaggio's hit streak? Um, you know, DiMaggio's hit streak is interesting. That's more personal. Mm -hmm. um, he's in charge of that. Uh, the win streak as a pitcher, you got to rely on a lot of other people. So I don't know which one is tougher. To go 43 games without losing, uh, you got to have a lot of luck um, in a sense. So I'm going to say maybe that. That, and, and you look at that hit streak, it's going to be tough to break that, especially with the way bullpens are situated. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to see that broken. And I don't know if there will be another pitcher you know, that runs off 43 can, you know, consecutive <laughs> yeah. starts without a loss. And last one coming from Randy Barron via Facebook. Hawks or Rangers? Ooh. Uh, well, I hope they meet. Um, <laughs> that would be great. They both have a lot of work to do before, before they're, they're, they meet. Um, I never really grew up a hockey fan. Um, I couldn't ice skate, so that was probably part of it. You and me both. <laughs> yeah, well, we found that out about you um, as your injury is, is still not healed. Um, but, you know... I can root for both teams. You know, I, I hope they're both in the Stanley Cup, and then we're going to be disappointed. But um, I had a wonderful time going to the Rangers game at Yankee Stadium, and I have a, uh, some friends uh, that work for the Blackhawks, so it, it's really hard for me to pick. There really is a buzz around New York City, though, when the Rangers are still in it, don't you think? Oh, uh, definitely. And I think people are excited and uh, rooting the Rangers and Dan Girardi some luck.